Hello everyone, what is going on today? My name is Buddy Blackford and this is another Photoshop CS6 tutorial where we're going to be going over the marquee selection tools which is in the top right of your tools or at the very top if you have the long um, the long set of tools instead of the ones that are next to each other. <clears throat> so let's get started. It, within the selection tools you got the rectangular marquee, elliptical marquee, and then the single row and single column marquee tools. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and use the rectangular marquee tool. Now what this does is it creates a rectangular or square selection that you can use to um, edit different parts of your of your photo. So what you need to do is click and drag and you can create oh I'm on the make sure make sure you're at um, this button right here is pressed where it says normal or new and then make sure your style is normal they were a bit messed up from a different project that I was working on but make sure it's like that so normal and um, this first um, option right here now click and drag and you can create a freeform square or rectangle going on here now if you hold shift down it'll create a perfect square for you and when you release it creates your selection now with this selection you can do a bunch of different things to it you can change the color by using the paint bucket um, you could move it around using your move tool so that section of square that we got there and um, you can do you can do a few things to it um, when you have the move tool selected you're able to move the um, resize and everything like that resize that section so uh, you can also press delete and like delete that section out so if I had to no cancel cancel that don't apply if I have the marquee selection and I press delete it'll delete it right out conversely you can take the you can take the move tool and just move it off the screen if you want but that's up to you <clears throat> So we've got a few options here. We've got the new, which is this first one here, new selection. Um, we've got add to selection. If I click on that and then I add or intersect these, it's going to add to the selection that I already have. Or if you're just out here, it's just going to have another separate box for you. And then you can hit delete and then they all um, delete. I hit control Z to go back and then I can hit control D to remove my selection so that I have nothing selected so I'm going to create a new box and then the next one we have is subtract so I could come in here and then sub this area would be subtracted so if I want to move this you can see that square is still in the middle which is nice you can create some cool looking designs doing that so the next one over we have is intersect anything that intersects here is going to be kept so instead of cutting out that section it's going to keep whatever section intersected with your um, selection so this little area right here should be what is selected yep and it is Hit Control D to deselect, and uh, we got our feather over here. Let's make sure we're on a new um, selection. We got our feather here, and if I increased that to something, say like a hundred pixels, draw out my mask or uh, out my selection. You can see that because there's a feather, that the selection is now a little rounded. If I hit delete you can see that the selection is definitely feathered off and it goes off by a hundred pixels because that's what I typed in now if I make a selection and I want it to be a lot more like 500 pixels you'll see how the shape looks a lot different now it looks like a circle because it's so feathered off and uh, that's what you get right there So let's put this back to zero and then I'll make a new selection. 
we've got our different styles going on here and the normal is just uh, what we've been doing it allows you to create freeform shapes um, that stay within like the square or rectangle so it lets you create freeform square or rectangles to whatever whatever height and width that you want now we've got the fixed ratio here and the fixed ratio allows you to input a width and a height and then it'll stay the uh, selection that you make will stay within that ratio so I can I can't freeform this I'm moving my mouse around all over and it's just all, only allowing me to stay at a 16 by 9 ratio so eventually if I drag this out I could get to 16 by 9 inches so let me do it from the top and uh, there it is about there so that's uh, how the fixed ratio works and then we've got fixed size now you can make this let's do like um, 500 by 500 maybe 500 by 200 let's try that and then I click and it creates a 500 by 200 pixel square and I can't click and drag or anything like that because it's just a fixed size so go to normal and I wanted to show you something else that's pretty cool so there is another thing that I want to show you guys that uh, is pretty sweet you can create your selection from the center of where your cursor was if you click and then you hold down alt and drag let me click and start dragging and you hold down alt it'll create the selection from the center instead of dragging it from the corner so that's pretty pretty helpful if you want to start in the middle of your document or something like that so um, let's see what else there is to talk about Let's go to the uh, next tool, which is the elliptical marquee. And pretty much this is almost the same. Let's uh, change from fixed size to normal. And we'll just drag out something here. Um, we've got our same selections uh, options up here add, subtract, and intersect. Our feather is on there. And then we've got anti alias, which makes this um, smoother. So if I hit delete and take off my selection we can see that we have a nice smooth circle let me go back and I'll uncheck anti-alias click here and delete and deselect we still have a smooth circle um, let's check inside the anti-aliasing is supposed to make this like really smooth but you can see it, that it's a little jagged instead so that's uh, what the anti-aliasing does. Basically, it creates a softer selection. So the um, elliptical mar marquee tool—it just—it's good for making circles and ellipses. If you let me uh, zoom out and get back to where I was, so everything's not like deleted out and everything. Let's go back to where we were. 100% is fine, doesn't matter. And click on this. We've got the ability to make like ovals, ellipses, and if you hold shift, you can create the uh, perfect circle. And then, of course, if you drag and then hold alt, you'll start making this from the center. If you hold alt and shift, it makes a perfect circle from the center. If you don't hold shift, it makes like whatever shape that you are going for. So that's uh, that's all for the uh, marquee and ellip elliptical marquee tools, so the rectangular and elliptical. And then in the next tutorial, since this one's getting a, a little bit long, I'll go over the uh, single row and single column. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and stay tuned for more um, tutorials about the different tools, because that's what we're getting into right now. So see you guys later. Have a good one.